Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am Prayas. Swagat karta hoon aap sabhi ka mere channel mein. So video ka title dekhe aap sabhi ko pata chal gaya hoga ki aaj hum kya karne wale video mein. So in today's video, I will show you all what all things I carry in my flight bag. As per the name, flight bag. This is the bag that we take along with us in flight and it includes everything that is necessary for that particular flight. Video start karne se pehle if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's get into the video. Here at L3 Harris, we are provided with a flight bag which is of ASA and the cost of it is included in the total cost of your training. So here is the bag that we get from L3 Harris and yeah this bag is it has a good amount of space in it you can store almost all of your stuff and um, it is uh, easy to use in flight. You can find your stuff very easily in it so this bag um, I, even I have but I have never used it much uh, but my flight bag is a bag like sack bag um, this is my flight bag that I carry along with me on my every flight and it is a molly backpack of hunt VP and uh, you can uh, use your attachments to it if you want to attach any attachments. It is a sack bag so basically your both the hands will be free and yeah it is more comfortable. It has the comfort layer over here and yeah I love this bag though. The only difference between these two bags are the one which is provided by our flight school is uh, not comfortable if you go on your flight so you will have to carry uh, you'll have to hold that bag by your one hand every time and the only comfort thing in the sack bag is your both the hands are free so now as I've shown you all both the bags but the one I carry is the best I love it so now on this table I will show you all what all things I carry with me on my flight in my flight bag so let's get started so I do carry a lot of stuff um, in my flight bag but whatever I carry I make sure that it makes sense so that I don't have to carry unnecessary load so first I will start with the documents that I carry with me on my flight so here is the folder. I have all my documents in it. Uh, starts with passport, then comes medical certificate, then a temporary certificate if I have, or the pilot license, and my airport badge. So you can uh, make a folder like this, and you can keep all your documents in it. Don't forget to carry your driver's license if you drive uh, by yourself to the airport then comes uh, headphones so i have asa headphones as you can see so these are not that bad uh, it is very clear and i am using this headphone since last year so i can say that it works well So whenever we go outside of the ops building on the ramp, we have to wear a ramp vest. This is our ramp vest as you can see. So whenever we are on ramp, we have to wear this for safety reasons. Because uh, in case if there is any airplane coming or there are sometimes uh, 
car is moving around so the vest makes you more visible i carry afd airport facility directory this is the book in which uh, you will get all the information of all the airports in the us and um, it is also known as chart supplement it is valid for 56 days so every 56 days you get a new one i also carry a water bottle with me sometimes if i have flight which is longer than two hours i do carry more bottles with me so that i am well hydrated throughout my flight so whenever i feel hungry or whenever uh, it's been a long time i haven't had anything since morning or throughout my flight i prefer carrying a protein bars then comes cx3 so cx3 is also called as flight computer so i carry along with me so it helps in a lot of calculations uh no matter what it uh, if you want to calculate the airspeed wind direction wind speed your track course all the calculations are done in cx3 but as we fly glass cockpit garmin g1000 helps us a lot and uh, you hardly uh, use this in flight but during your private when you fly according to your nav logs or during commercial you need cx3 for calculations you can also use e6b for calculations which is also a flight computer but it is not the electronic one then comes the fuel stick so this is called as fuel stick we use this to measure the amount of fuel that we have in the tanks so basically we just open the cap then we dip it inside and hold it on top and check it this is how we check fuel so maximum capacity is 26.5 gallons for Cessna 172 in one tank second tank 26.5 so the total capacity of usable fuel that we can carry is 53 gallons and 3 gallons is unusable so total capacity of the tank both left and right is 56 gallons now comes the gas jar so this jar is used to sum the fuel so fuel is summed usually when your tanks are refueled or whenever you have early morning flight it helps to check if your tanks are filled with the proper fuel that your engine need it also helps in checking if there are uh, any impurities or water in the fuel in Cessna 172 SP there are five drains under left wing five drains under right wing and three uh, drains under the nose of the airplane out of those three uh, sums under the nose first one is for reservoir tank second is for uh, fuel strainer and third one is for fuel selector so now comes the knee board so this is the knee board that we carry it is from ASA and you can use it the way you want so I prefer keeping all my airport diagrams here then uh, my checklist will be here the normal checklist this is called the emergency checklist so emergency checklist I keep it inside this there are compartments inside so I keep my takeoff data card and all other necessary uh, things in this I carry uh, plain sheets of paper so that if I want to make any notes I, do, I want to write down any it is or any information that ATC gives me so I carry blank sheets I carry pen along with me so in my flight bag I do carry a few pens pencil so this is how uh, is my knee board so these pens remind me uh, my flight my first solo flight in private stage so when I was climbing I was having uh, two pens on that flight with me and the first one I was using it to write on my knee board so it was on my knee board when while I was climbing 
it fell down. So I took my second pen and I started writing instructions. After that, second pen fell down. So since then, I do carry a few pens with me. Now comes the iPad. So in this, you will have all your charts from your first ground school in your private iPad will be very useful. You'll be having your prepware, you will have your farm and all other books in this. So most of the time, more than half of the time, you will be studying from your iPad. Also during flight in your instrument stage, iPad is mostly used, especially when in instrument stage, whenever you have uh, your flights, iPad is mainly used and you should make sure that your iPad is uh, charged almost more than 80% at least. I usually keep it charged more than like around 100% full charged so that I don't have to uh, worry in my flight. I do carry a power bank with me so that whenever I don't have enough charging for my iPad or iPhone, I use power bank. Whenever you fly looking inside of your airplane, I mean, whenever you fly looking at the instruments, you need foggles or a hood with you. So at L3, they provide us hood, which you wear it like this, and you just look inside so that you can't look outside. So I prefer foggles. So Foggles are used same as hood. So these are basically like goggles. And yeah, it's more uh, comfortable in flight. I do carry a highlighter in case I need it in my flight. Also uh, a pair of sunglass you must carry. So whenever you fly during a sunny day, sunglasses helps you make your eyes comfortable and focus on flying so carrying a good pair of sunglasses is important whenever i am on a ramp i do carry earplugs with me it helps in reducing noise uh, usually you have um, airplanes around so it helps your ears be comfortable and whenever it's too noisy I prefer using earplugs just for safety of my ears. I also carry a uh, takeout data cards. So whenever we go on flight, we fill out takeout data card where we find CG within, if it is within limits or not. We do calculate weight and balance and also air speeds takeoff distance and landing distances, also pressure altitude, density altitude, everything. So this card has all the information on it. I do carry some batteries, AAA batteries for backup. So these are the batteries for my CX-3. So during your night flights, during pre-flight and inside your flight, you need a flashlight. So I carry flashlight always with me. So this is again from ASA and it has three different colors. So green, red, and white. I do carry a Dio with me. So during uh, afternoon flights or whenever you do pre-flight, sometimes you feel sweaty and yeah, carrying a Dio is best always. As I'm getting trained in Florida, and Florida is known for its weather, during rainy seasons or whenever thunderstorms are reported in forecast, I carry umbrella with me. Whenever I go from ops building to the parking lot uh, towards my airplane or while coming back, it is, it might rain. So it's best you to be prepared well ahead and carry an umbrella with you. As world is suffering from COVID-19, carrying a mask is must. So I do carry a Uzanthro mask, which is this one. 
and also two cloth masks with me like this so guys these are all the things uh, that I carry in my flight bag so I prefer to keep everything organized in my flight bag so that if I need anything I can find it easily during my flight so guys these all were the things that I carry in my flight bag now let's discuss comments so as I get many comments on my videos whatever questions that I found important uh, I would like to discuss all those questions in my videos because uh, what I think is those questions and answers will be helpful for everyone so it is best to discuss in videos so I'll be discussing three comments in this so one of my bro asked me uh, what if I clear uh, these exams before uh, getting selected in India Cadet Pilot Program and what are its pros and cons so there are no cons it will help in getting uh, started your training faster also uh, I did the same I cleared my DC exams first and then I got selected so when after getting selected and after signing LOI you don't have to wait for your ground school or clearing DC exams your training will straight away get started in the US second question is what is the total duration from since you apply for the cadet pilot program to signing the LOI so the total duration from the day you apply to the signing LOI is not fixed at all it depends on the flight school and the airline and how they process your application also I would like to mention the total duration mentioned on the website is uh, I think it's approximately 18 months but it might take anywhere from 15 months to 24 months to complete the whole program so one of my brother asked me one question that what is the total cost of uh, Chimes Aviation Academy Indio Cadet Pilot Program so as I'm in uh, this program I've never looked for details of uh, Chimes Indio Cadet Pilot Program but as you have asked me this question I would definitely go ahead and I'll find some more information about it also uh, you all can google uh, and find some information on this program so guys that's all for today's video if you enjoyed my video hit the like button do share subscribe to my channel press the bell icon also if you have any questions comment down below that's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one lots of love